by YouTube. Just received some more stuff for my solar project. So I thought I'd show you. Okay. Let's do a bit of adjustment. Here's my MPPT solar charge controller. This one's a 60 amp. So it's um okay. Here's to your battery. This to your solar panel, then inside here, yeah, bit of a weighty piece of kit. My solar panel should be here about the eleventh. I think they're coming. Uh, so I've got the solar control controller there, and I have to get the isolator. You see these on my last video. That's what I need these for. But it's been fitted in the house. Get some caps to cover up the screw holes. You will need an isolator. You've got on and off. I've put the holes in already. These will go in the top and then I've got two to go in the bottom. But years ago, about the 90s, you used to be able to get your thumb and push down and push these through. But not anymore. In about 2000, I needed a, a, a box for outside. So I... Um, I think it was B&Q, picked one up from B&Q, got it home and went to push these um, tabs out, because you, you see you've got them on the back here, went to push the tabs out and they wouldn't go out, so I just tapped it with a hammer and cracked all the casing, not, not on this one right obviously, cracked all the casing, so what I did this time, um, I tried pushing them out, they weren't coming out, so I got a Stanley And where this circle is, I stayed on this inside line and I just pushed the Stanley in gently and then just worked my way around the whole whole thing a couple of times and then you could just push the tabs out. And then all you do is you get some sandpaper on the inside and take the roughness out from the inside. You might be able to just see it there. Just take that out with some sandpaper and that will be good. Then from the solar panels, your outside solar panels will come in the top, your ones will come out the bottom and go into these two. So that's all, all good. Just remove that. Still got some more batteries to get. I've got to get four, six more batteries. Got a hundred meters of cable. This is all going to be for my lighting and possibly my water pumps because I've got two water pumps, so I've got a hundred meters. I'm 
five more switches that are coming. These are going to be for my lighting. These are called smart switches. You've got um, an LED ring that you can either have all, on all the time um, and then you can turn it on or you can have the LED uh, come on when you turn it on or you can have the there's three ways you can wire this LED in I believe so the LED comes on but I should just have the LED come on when the lights on but yeah so I've got five more of these and here's a better view of this charger and then somebody might be able to help me with this charger two batteries I've got are still, are still fully charged. I've been charging my phone, charging my head torch, yeah, and it still hasn't moved off a of 12.8, so that's really good. You'll see in the first video where it's charged. Yeah, Numerex battery charger. It's 12 volt, 30 amp. This is the only piece of paper you get with it. Then tells you what you've got to do. So this is the only piece of paper that comes with it. <coughs> I've rung the company I buy from, and they don't even know. But what I'm thinking, you got a negative. And you've got two positives and they don't know what this this other positive is for I'm just thinking whether you can double up the negative have two positives and have two separate bank battery banks which I don't know and another thing my batteries are showing that I'm on uh, 12.8 volts which is fully charged and on here, it's only um, showing 75%. They said I've got a year, but I would have thought when I was at 12.8 um, volts, it would have said 100% um, on the charger on the LCD screen. But it goes into, when it gets to its maximum, to save your batteries it goes into float charge um, to save your batteries from getting damaged but yeah I, I just would if anybody knows what this this idea is for I mean obviously I've just got these the two crocodile clips but when I've finally finished the setup um, getting it all set up on my battery bank I'm going to hardwire the charger in to the batteries. I'm going to get another isolator and then I should wire coming out of the bottom into the batteries and then going in the top from the charger and then when I've got fully charged on the batteries I can just isolate the uh, battery charger and turn it off well turn it all off and then just isolate because somebody's saying the electric can go up back into the unit so you're better off with an isolator so that doesn't happen but yeah so I'm getting there Yeah, I've got my solar panels, they come on the 11th and then I've just got to get some, uh, the uh, solar cable, which is quite a bit.
I'm looking forward to uh, start fitting the unit up. Yeah, I'm going to look forward to getting it all fitted up. That's what I'm up to so far. Okay then, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video which shall be soon. Thank you.